Good afternoon, dear participants of the conference. Today, authors present the paper called Automated Data Mining of the Reference Stars from Astronomical CCD Frames. Technological progress in the production of cameras and telescopes demonstrates continuous acceleration reflecting modern trends in scientific and engineering developments. Today's digital cameras pose impressive characteristics including resolutions exceeding 100 megapixels, significantly surpassing those of previous models. Telescopes are also keeping pace. For example, Pan Stars in Gavai contains two telescopes with 1.8 meter aperture. Both are equipped with the largest CCD camera, which records about 1.4 billion pixels per image. Each image requires about 2 GB of storage and exposure times will be up to 1 minute. So more than 10 TB of data are obtained every night. Also, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope LSST, in Chile currently is under construction. It will take images of the full sky every few nights. There will be about 200,000 uncompressed images per year that equals more than 2 petabytes. As the resolution of cameras and telescopes has increased over time, allowing for the registration and analysis of more detailed images of the night sky, this process directly impacts the ability to detect and study various objects in space. Some of them are solar system objects variable stars, asteroids, comets, near-Earth objects, satellites, and other. The regular series of frames can contain hundreds of frames, where in one frame a lot of thousands of objects are presented. For scientific research and analysis, such big amount of data should be processed by special data preprocessing methods and data reduction models which simplify input by reducing unnecessary information. This means that we also have the data mining problems in astronomy. So, how can we solve them? For the proper processing, we need to use all steps from the Knowledge Discovery Database KDD, process, which contains the data mining stage in it. So, I want to tell you about the Lemur software of the Collection Light Technology, Kalitec, project. The Lemur software implements all data mining steps during processing, the different types of astronomical information, which is fed online in automated mode. There are different types of data mining and KDD tasks like discovery of the new object, galaxies, classes, identification of correlations, dependencies, gravitational lenses, prediction of changes in gamma ray burst and others. On this slide, you can see the results of frame processing by the Lemur software and processed frames with alignment and centered view on the right side. Also, detected moving objects are presented on the right side. The processing pipeline of the Lemur software is presented on this slide. After intra-frame processing, the classification of measurements is performed. The different classes contain measurements of objects with null, near zero, normal, and very fast apparent motion. Data mining and processing of these sets of objects is performed in parallel. This approach reduces the execution time. During the intra-frame processing stage, there is an identification process with astrometrical and astronomical catalogs. This is called astrometric reduction. For astrometric reduction, at first we need to recognize pixels that are related only to the real object signals. When software removes all unnecessary pixels from the input data set to reduce the amount of the measurements for processing. After the estimation of the object's position, the software starts frame identification with the stellar astronomical catalogs. There is a very difficult procedure because these catalogs contain more than billions of objects with appropriate information about them, including astrometric and photometric measurements. The main goal of this stage is to understand what part of the sky these frames are related to. For this purpose, we select the references stars as a guide points in an image.
Practice shows that the concentration of bright measurements in a certain area of the CCD frame, for example in the center, can increase the identification accuracy in this area, but reduce it in other areas of the same CCD frame as shown in the left image. That's why, to ensure almost equal accuracy of objects' coordinate measurements throughout the entire CCD frame, it is advisable to distribute candidates for reference stars evenly throughout the full frame. Therefore, it is necessary to fragment the frame into equal areas for uniform distribution of identified pairs when selecting candidates for reference stars. In each such frame fragment, the same number of objects with a bright image is selected. In this slide you can see an algorithm for data mining of automated reference star selection. First step is the fragmentation of frame, then iterative calculation of the plate constants for the astrometric reductions, and the main step is the appropriate rules for the rejection of candidates for the reference stars. Such rejection rules is developed for the proper excluding measurements of the nearby objects from candidates for the reference stars in CCD frame, as well as in the catalog form for the identification. Another important criterion for rejection candidates is the absence of the brightness peak in the object's image in the CCD frame. All such rejection rules are presented via equations. On this slide, you can see the details about our experiment. The series of frames were received from the different telescopes from New Mexico, Slovakia, Chile, Ukraine. More than 27,000 measurements were used for research. Also, the parameters of, for the development method are on slide. All of them were received empirically. As a result of the experiment, you can see the histograms of the distribution of the deviations by the equatorial coordinates measurements of reference stars. Right ascension on the left side and declination on the right side. On this slide, you can see the dependence of deviations of equatorial coordinates from the position of re reference stars and from the brightness of objects. Also, we calculated the different statistical indicators of the accuracy of reference stars measurements. They are average, root mean square, RMS, minimum and maximum deviations for equatorial coordinates, Ryan D, and for the brightness. The Kalaitic project is developed by enthusiasts. Kalaitic has assisted in making over 1700 discoveries of asteroids including 5 Neo, 21 Trojan asteroids of Jupiter, 1 Centaur. It has been used in about 800,000 observations, during which 5 comets were discovered. Thank you for your attention.